Hey fairy friends! So today I'm going to be doing a haul video. I went to Sephora and Target yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd share with you some of the things I got. I went a little crazy at Sephora. I went to get two things I needed and ended up walking out with a whole lot more because I'm a little crazy. Um, I promise it's the last I'm buying for myself until Christmas, after Christmas. Anyway, so um, let's start with the things I actually needed. Um, I was all out of foundation, and so I had to get some. Um, I use Clinique Super Balance Makeup in Breeze, which is the lightest color that they have. Um, I've already opened it and used it. I used it last night because I was like out, out. So this is one of my old containers, but this is what it looks like. Um, I like it. It's kind of cool. I've been using this makeup for almost 10 years, I've realized. Um, I think my cousin started me on it when I was like 17 and I've just continued to use it since then. Um, part of the reason why I use it so much and I've been using it for so long is because it is a water based makeup not an oil based makeup and oil based makeups are crap on oh, my skin is terrible it's terrible um, water based is best for me. The second thing that I needed was my Clinique, again, Clinique is good, good products, Super City Block Oil-Free Daily Face Protector. It's a 40 um, SPF. Um, I use this on my beautifully pale skin. I like to have sunscreen on, um, and I, I like products that have sunscreen um, since the Super Balance um, Foundation. Ooh, foundation. Oh, <laughs> sorry flinging things. Um, this doesn't have um, sunscreen in it, so I found a product that did, and it just happened to be a Clinique product that I really like. Um, it's kind of like a primer, and it's got 40 SPF in it. Now, the trick with sunscreen is there's like certain ingredients um, that are actually really effective, and if you don't have more than 5% of like one of three different ingredients, it's pretty much pointless. This, however, has um, the ingredient that is needed, or one of them, um, zinc oxide, and this has 9.6% of zinc oxide. Fantastic. I love it. It works, I think. I've never gotten sunburnt while wearing it. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, I decided to start wandering around, and I ended up buying, if I can get them, two lip liners, um, Sephora lip liners. I like their lip liner. I have another one of theirs. Um, I've got Real Red, which is real and red. And then I got a lovely lilac because purple is a good color. I have way too many purple lip products now that I think about it. Um, I haven't opened these yet. Oh, I didn't show you what this, I'll show you what that looks like later. I'm going crazy. Oh, sticky, sticky. Ooh. So, if I can open this and show you, I'm sure most of you know what it looks like. That actually looks like a pretty cool, I have no place to put stuff. I do not need to be doing this here. Um, you, there we go. That looks like a neat color. Um, it's kind of dark, kind of a dark purpley color. I want to try this effect that I saw. Um, I think I was browsing Instagram and I saw someone do a really cool effect. And then of course I'm sure the red is a very red color. I don't know why I'm taking the time to do this and open this for you. I appreciate you watching while I sit here and struggle to open with my freshly done nails that are fine. Err! Oh my god, I have issues. Issues I tell you. Issues! There we go. So I got red because I realized I didn't have a red lip liner. Um, I have like a burgundy lip liner, which is kind of cool and nice, but I realized I didn't have red. I don't even know why I started looking at the lip liners. Um, this is really, that's like, that's like red. Red, of course, it's called real red. So um, I'll eventually wear those and things like that. Um, and then tissue paper. And then, of course, because I got weird, and there's that, you know, at the end in the line, and they've got, like, those impulse buys, and I thought this was a good deal, and I was like, hell, you know what, why not give it a try? 
I bought the Clinique Chubby Color um, 4 pack. It was only $25, which I thought was a pretty good deal because I went back and I looked at their like regular chubby colors. Um, and they're only a little bit bigger than these ones. And they're $17. So um, I thought that was really cool. So it came with these four colors. We have mega melon um which kind of looks like i don't know it doesn't really look melony i'll probably review these later at another date um super strawberry uh broadest berry and then i actually wore this one last night at work um curviest caramel a very neutral color i kind of like this one a lot um i figured these will last me quite a long time because i have tons and tons of lip product so um and these look, I mean, these are decent sizes, and I got four of them for 25 which I thought was a pretty awesome deal. And so I went a little crazy, and I said, okay, I'll get it. So I got that. And then lastly, um, I was at the register, and so I had like 580 points. And I never use my Sephora points, just because I'm not like, usually I'm like, eh, I don't care, I'll save them. But I actually saw something that looked really cool, kind of interesting. So I said, let's give that a go. So um, they had, for 500 points, they had two different like box sets. They had a Sephora box set and a sh smash, smash box, smash box, a smash box set. So I got the smash box one with my point. You can hear everything rattling around. Cause, um, yeah, I'm not going to open it, but I will read the back of the box. So... Um, it comes with a photo finish foundation primer, which I believe is this white one right here. And then it comes with the photo finish hydrating under eye primer, which is neat, that one right there. Um, we have the full exposure mascara in jet black, which is obviously the mascara wand there. We have the B Legendary Lip Gloss in Disco Rose, which is right there. And then the Full Exposure Eyeshadow Duo. Um, I don't know if I've ever used Smashbox products before. So this will be fun. I'm kind of excited about the primer. I've been looking for a primer. And the under eye. I don't know what that's going to do for my under eye balls, but we'll see. And... I'm kind of liking the mascara because I like the wand. I don't like the new um, rubbery wands. I like the old fashioned like, um, all I can think is prickly right now, not prickly. Um, oh my god, what are they? They're like bristles, bristles, the bristle wand, prickly, <laughs> I'm going crazy. So um, I'll give that a go, I may review some of these products, see um, how much I like them. And they also, I think they also tossed in a sample, a sample perfume, um, this is Tory Burch, so I'll give this a go, that sounds kind of nice. Um, I was also looking at perfumes when I was there, I did not buy any though, which is probably a good thing, um, but I did find some really nice smelly stuff. Um, then I went to Target, actually I went to Hallmark first. I bought a couple cards, not that you need to see them. Some birthday cards for some family members. I'm a card person. Um, my mom is a card person. Um, but then I went to Target. I only got three things at Target. I bought two of my favorite Dove dry shampoo. This is like my lifesaver because I hate washing my hair. <laughs> and um, especially for work, I don't want to have to restyle it every single day. So I leave my hair the same for like days on end. And then I also bought a tiny, mini um, travel size hairspray for my work bag. Um, Cause I couldn't remember what it was that I had a thought about some needing something travel sized. So thank you for suffering through this very strange video with me. Um, that was my haul for yesterday. I'm thinking of reviewing the Clinique lip um, chubby pencils or whatever lip things and then the Smashbox box. Smashbox box 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 box. Um, I'll probably review some of those things. Um, I have a couple other videos. I have a really late Halloween video to post. <laughs> so maybe I'll post that one before this one. Um, and then I also have another video that I promised you a while ago as well. Um, 
so yeah I've got a couple videos to do hopefully I can get better at this posting thing um, since I did mention my nails I got them done today I'm supporting my favorite hockey team can anyone guess comment down below if not I'll tell you in my next video um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it um, check out my Facebook page um, Diana Elise makeup artist go like me on Instagram Diana Elise makeup and you can also check out my website that might be changing but right now it's currently dianaelysergent.webs.com and yeah thanks for watching keep uh keep checking me out and hopefully i get a new video soon bye